there's a hell of a lot we don't know about the things around us and the things that are affecting our bodies. Is it necessary to make a water bottle that contains BPA? That's a really easy answer, you know? No. Is it necessary to have adhesives in our floor that cause cancer? Is it necessary to put flame retardants in the foam that you're sitting on that are PBTs, persistent bioaccumulative and toxins? Is it necessary to put lead in lipstick? I mean, all of those, the answer is really easy. No. It's not sufficient to ask, is something legal? Perfectly legal to put a cancer-causing VOC into the wallboard that you breathe. Perfectly legal to put bisphenol A in polycarbonate plastic, right? We know that the laws are not sufficient. Phthalates are a hormone-disrupting chemical, and they've been shown in human tests to be linked to reproductive deformities in baby boys. They're estrogen mimics, they're feminizing chemicals. They're used in synthetic fragrances. They use phthalates as um, diffusers of the fragrance and also to make fragrance cling longer to your skin, which is a very absorptive organ. The highest levels of phthalates have been found in women of childbearing age. Because they're a potent hormone disruptor, they've been shown to cause reproductive deformities and to carry on to the next generation. This is very worrisome. We're trying to get companies to remove chemicals from products that are perfectly legal. They're, we don't, we worry that they may not be safe, mm -hmm. but they are legal. Um, and we have to get companies to admit that things that are in their products, you know, billion dollar consumer products are unsafe and they have to, we want them to admit that and start doing something about it. It's a very scary thing for companies who, you know, that, that are incentivized to, to maintain the status quo. It's really a tough conversation to be having. The big thing that we're working on now that I want to talk about tonight is Walmart because Walmart is stepping in in so many ways as the regulator in absence of government regulation to, um, on chemicals, on packaging, on a number of different fronts. What goes on an end cap, it's, it's hugely impactful at, at Walmart to put something on an end cap or even to put something at eye level. So, many, you know, the, the, those buyers have a lot of power over what actually moves and that was how EDF was so successful in working with Walmart around selling more compact fluorescent light bulbs. It was, it was, you know, there were there were a lot of marketing efforts that went on, but one of the most significant was just switching the the CFLs so they were sitting at eye level instead of um, instead of having the CFLs down at the bottom where somebody actually had to bend over to get them. And Walmart was able to sell hundreds and hundreds of millions of CFLs that way. We think they can do this and make a profit. Mm -hmm. They can do the right thing. They can. Uh, it can be good for business and good for the environment, and that's our mantra, and we, we're constantly working to demonstrate that. Our elected officials here decided that we would ban the sale of toys in San Francisco that contained phthalates. About six months later, the state of California took our law and banned them for the whole state. So that was very wonderful. Yeah. But then the story gets even better because Diane Feinstein heard about it and said, wow, if the children of California are protected, why not the children of the U.S.? And so she inserted it into the, um, the Consumer Product Safety Commission Reform Act, and she inserted the phthalate ban just like San Francisco's in federally. So within a year and a half of San Francisco doing the ban, it translated all the way to the feds. People are always writing and saying, well, how can I make a soft scrub? Because a lot of soft scrubs do contain chlorine. It's really easy. You just get two cups of baking soda, one half cup liquid plant-based soap, three to four drops of vegetable oil. You mix it up. You just add a little bit of water. Then you take it. You see how it's getting this consistency. And you just scrub it on muck, you know, with a scrubbing sponge. And it grates it off without scratching the surface. And it sticks to the surface too, so you can leave it to kind of work in there and then scrub. 